Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people in Buffalo? Welcome to my very first show, Pleasant Brothers Production, Making Dreams Come True. Live, laugh, and loving each other. That's what we all about. Well, you know, I just wanted to let y'all know, first thing y'all gonna see is my kids' documentary and some footage of my children. Uh, they've been musicians ever since I was a baby birth, but I'm not gonna go that far. I'm just gonna say two years old, all right? So my main thing is to have this program. I, I want to reach out to all the children out there that have some type of dream on becoming someone with their life. And I know a lot of parents out there, you know, it's hard to try to find good role models, a good direction, uh, at their school places where you can take your children. So, this is my proposal, okay? Because I want to have one giant city big concert in August, because my kid's birthday is between September and August, and I want to give one big summer jam jam concert to raise enough money, hopefully $20,000, maybe $50,000. So that way, we can come together and build a music school, downtown Buffalo, you know? Because ever since I was a child, my brother and my father and my sisters used to take me down to the Cully Musician Club. And back then, that's when the blues was real hot. And, um, we kind of lost so much of our history as far as all the blues clubs. I mean, every weekend, blues clubs had some of the best blues bands all over Buffalo. And now, the jazz is kind of, kind of not, not, not being all over like it used to. So, you know, we have to get that back in our culture, you know, because um, we got some of the world best musicians that came from Buffalo. But I just want to just explain to you about what is the show is briefly going to be about. So, if you have a child and you want your child to be in television, commercials, um, learning how to make videos, being around the studio, you know, you know, let me get a chance to get to know them, okay, for number one. Okay, you know, I want kids to come to me with their parents and we can try to set a roadmap on making their dreams come true. Give, giving our children something to hold on to, to believe in. Because one thing I learned in my life is that practice always makes perfect. Okay, and, and, and sometimes in life you don't realize that it's you like almost 40 or 50 years old. Some people say, well, you know what? Why so many people is a blank, blank hole? You know what I'm talking about. I can't say it. Well, because if you practice so much, that's what you become. So if we teach our children at a very young age and teach them how to practice and focus and give them our undivided attention, then that will instill in them to grow. Enough of that. The first show is going to be a documentary with my with my child. I see my child. Not my children. I see it with my child. Okay. It's going to be with Amada and the cousin. Okay. This was when Amada was only nine and a half years old. You know what I'm we started making this. And it's just a little something I want the parents to really have their children sit down. That way they can get some inspiration to show your kids, like, okay, if this little guy can do it, I'm quite sure you got you to do it too. The reason why I, I, I really want this show to really make children's dreams come true is because we have to start our children working in a working environment at, at a younger age. The problem is not about creating jobs. The problem is, is that we let our kids go to school and by the time 
didn't get in high school, the only thing that's available is summer jobs. And everybody can't get that summer job. Because everybody don't have the car, they don't have the ambition, you know, everybody, uh, some don't even want to go to school. So you know, that's where we start to divide our culture. That's where, you know, we we, we not taking care of our community yet. So I figure that if we can come up with a proposal, especially, you know, Mayor Brown, you're doing a wonderful job for number one. But, you know, I, I, I did make a proposal on finding ways to train our children to become musicians, uh, even, um, how can I say it? Inspiring actors to go out to some of these companies and say, I want to do commercial for your business and I can do it right in the studio because, you know, I got a production team. If we can find a way to put our children to good use at a very young age and, and, and help them get a job, so that means that would be less stress on the parents or the one single parent that only have one income or maybe working two jobs, you know, without no help. You know, or a child that that father that has no father, you know, or 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 no mother. So in this process, you know, we can train these children, you know, to become uh, someone that automatically uh, get the care about being productive in what they do. And the whole the whole program is based on is trying to provide enough education, uh, enough self-conscious, enough awareness, you know, that we can do this in Buffalo. You know, at the Palo Media Center, we got the equipment, but we just don't have the people, you know, to really come down and say, okay, I want to be a part of that. You know, we need writers, we need producers, we need, uh, man, we need makeup artists, we need people that can do costumes. You know, we, we can put together a whole production just like they do anywhere else. But my proposal is a little bit different. Okay, as I told you, my children's birthday is between September and August. They run together the last two weeks. So I'm going to have one big city-wide concert in Mayor Brown, the past the prison. Uh, all the rest of the musicians at the Cully Musician Club and everybody else in Buffalo. I want y'all to participate in this. Uh, I've been talking to Chris Thomas. Me and him became real good friends. Um, and Sharon has been a friend of mine. Um, y'all might not know her, but she does the play uh, Mary Ellen Pleasant. That's my great, great, great grandmother. She was the first mother of civil rights leader in California. You know, that's some history that I'm going to teach a lot of people that, that you don't hear in the media, you don't hear it in school. There's some things that they don't want you to know about her because she knew, you know, so much about, you know, the government back then, the wars and how they did people. So much deep history that, you know, my family can bring out to you. But my main focus, you know, with this project is to have one big concept and try to raise at least 20 to maybe 50 million, not million, 20 to 50,000. Okay. Just raise it and let the city invest it and then make a plan to build a school downtown so they can have music, video game, editing, TV production, teaching children how to act. Also, have a full productive school. We have to have a place where our children can go at a very young age so we can train them to know that, you know what, you can spend more time here than anywhere else, you know, because when you're around things that's positive and things moving forward, then you can create jobs for younger children. The whole purpose of this proposal is to get our children start working at a very younger age, you know, because once they get uh, in high school and they don't want to do summer job, job, then all of a sudden they get pulled in by the streets. Now, I don't, I'm not saying nothing against the streets, because the streets is like, like 
being in Hollywood. And see, this is where Caucasians and some religious people, and you know, this is where it gets confusing. Okay. We have to understand that when you look at the people that's in the ghetto, the people that's out of the corner, they might be selling a little weed or whatever that they doing that's wrong and illegal, but that's the way they feel that they're popular. Okay? That's the way that they feel that you're special. That's the way that they can go home at night and don't have to worry about their kids saying, well, I ain't got no clothes tomorrow, I ain't got no food in the refrigerator, or, you know, they, they, they hustle. The bottom line, they hustle, okay? So, my thing is this. I don't agree with a lot of things, but I had to learn not to disagree. Thank you.